This is just a quick video giving our thoughts on the downfall of Mixer for those who haven't heard. Uh, yesterday, uh, Microsoft officially announced that Mixer would be shut down three years after acquiring it. It started as uh, Beam and, and Microsoft acquired it in 2017 and renamed the platform from Beam to Mixer. Uh, if you would like us to elaborate more on uh, your thoughts other than what we just talked about in this brief video, uh, you can let us know stream, which will be on Thursday here on our YouTube channel. That's going to be at 6.15 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, so it'll be our earlier stream that we normally have on Mondays, but for this week we weren't able to have it on Monday. So Thursday for tomorrow, because this video will go up early tomorrow morning. We're recording this Tuesday, so it'll be up Wednesday. So on Thursday, 6.15 p.m. Eastern Standard Time will be our next live stream. And if you have any questions or want us to elaborate on any further points we made, we'll uh, do that in the beginning of the stream before we begin the main part of the stream. So basically, uh, just for Mixer, given how it performed in its brief lifespan, even by when Microsoft acquired it to now, it's not really surprised to me given that given everything that's going on and more people are staying at home than before, uh, the amount of streaming hours that were watched uh, only increased by one tenth of a percent. Again, also given that if you don't really have an Xbox, it seems like even harder to access because it just seemed like they wanted everybody to be in the, their Microsoft ecosystem. And I guess the, their kind of their strategy was that if people who either had like a Microsoft PC or some kind of other Microsoft device that people would just naturally just use Mixer more, I guess. And part of it uh, that goes to is, uh, speaking of the Microsoft, I guess, ecosystem, like I said before, uh, they're trying to get more people to use xCloud, which is more of their online service they're trying to roll out. And it just seemed like even Mixer, given how, I guess, mediocre at best it was performing, it was just probably time to uh, pull the plug on it. And really, and given that it, you didn't really hear too much about it, too, and you don't hear, didn't see much advertising for it, obviously the big three platforms being here on YouTube, Twitch, and Facebook Gaming. And even, like, I think Google's uh, online uh, gaming service to Stadia you hear more about than you really did with Mixer. So really it doesn't come as a shock to me. I know this seems like hindsight 2020 and all, but it just seemed like uh, it was doomed to fail from the beginning. And trying to have their uh, partnership, which is a nice way of saying they're just uh, being acquired by Facebook Gaming, uh, probably won't make uh, much of a dent for Facebook Gaming and the... Uh, gap it has between Twitch and then uh, to a smaller extent YouTube to try to catch up in uh, streaming hours and all that and its popularity and it was just uh, probably it's time for it to go and Mixer just showing how desperate they were they're trying to get Shroud and Ninja with these big contracts to have them exclusively stream on Mixer just hoping that, hopefully that everybody would just follow them over to the platform uh, learning this on our own channel as well too that if we do the same content or similar content on a different platform those who are on one platform will generally not follow you to the uh, however uh, big supporters they are, however much they like your content, they just will generally not go. I think uh, Mixer and Microsoft and those who are fans of Shroud and Ninja probably learned that the hard way. That, you know, despite, you know, having that same content on a different platform other than Twitch, uh, whatever happens with their contracts, who knows. And also just uh, watching some streams on Mixer too, and for those we know, uh, some people we know who streamed on Mixer, it just wasn't a very good experience and they just didn't have an overall either a good quality product or a differentiating product, even for the monetization features for Mixer streamers, I mean, there's not really much different you can get on Twitch and to some extent YouTube. So between just like really not having any sort of differentiation value, not accessible and not really offering anything of high quality, I mean, it was just pretty much like, maybe it was from day one too, it just seemed kind of confusing why Microsoft even bought it in the first place. But again, with xCloud, we'll see what the future holds up with that. Uh, so just that being said, thank you for guys uh, for watching. If you have any other questions or want us to elaborate more on the points we made, let us know in the comments below. If you want to reach out to us on our social media accounts, we'll put those in the description below of this video as well. Also, uh, thank you uh, to our channel members uh, for their patience. We'll get part two of our latest video up soon. And thank you guys for being here again. Our next stream will be Thursday, 6.15 p.m. Eastern Standard Time uh, here on our YouTube channel. Hope you guys can join us for that. Thank you again for watching, and we will speak to you guys soon.